Hey, Dr. Weiner. I hope all is well. So I had the lap band surgery, my guess is about 10 or 11 years ago. And then I had, I lost a lot of weight, gained it all back. Then I had the sleeve about four years ago, went from about 300, maybe a little less to 208. And then ended up gaining back about 50 pounds. When I lose, I lose very slowly. And when I gain, I gain at unbelievable amounts. Um, like I can gain five pounds in one month just because I eat badly for one month. Um, but when I eat really healthy and I'm working out and I'm very active, I do work out all the time, maybe stay the same, maybe lose a pound here and there. I was wondering what the cause of that is. And I generally do eat extremely healthy. So I was wondering where all the weight gain is from. Thank you. So, a lap band 10 to 11 years ago, good result, but then weight regain. Followed four years ago by a sleeve went from 300 pounds down to 208 pounds. One of the most common things we see after a uh, sleeve gastrectomy is weight regain. Um, it takes an incredibly good diet, not a decent diet, but a really great diet to maintain weight loss long term after a sleeve. Um, so let's kind of break this down. We had, we had an elevated set point, we had a band, the set point lowered down to their post band weight. The band most likely malfunctioned um, or uh, uh, couldn't be tightened comfortably or for some reason the, the band failed, which was very, very common. Um, and there was a lot of weight regain. Four years ago, lost uh, 92 pounds with a sleeve. That is really great weight loss. So we don't see band to sleeve patients lose 92 pounds that often. I think part of the reason why it did is because he had regained all of his weight. Remember, if you have a band uh, in and you convert it in a single stage surgery to a sleeve gastrectomy, meaning we remove the band and do the sleeve in the same surgery, you have to remember where your, your pre-band weight was, was when you started. If you were 300 pounds before your band, you are now 270 pounds and still have the band in and have a sleeve, you lose weight as if you're 300 pounds, not as if you're 270 pounds. Your body, when you take out the band, your body remembers, hey, I used to be 300, and then we do a sleeve and work down from there, which is why often band to sleeve patients don't lose as much weight as patients who have a sleeve for the first time. The, the total amount of weight is often very similar, but the amount of weight after that surgery is typically less. So um, that being said, why is he, when I hear someone who's losing slowly and gaining fast, that really to me says your set point is kind of anchored. So you've regained these 50 pounds and your set point is now anchored and every time you fight, fight, fight against it and then as soon as you stop fighting, just in one month, a little bit of, of uh, drop in your, in your discipline and the weight comes back immediately. That to me says your set point is set at a certain number, you're kind of fighting it down, and then it's like a rubber band. As soon as you release it, boing, you go right back to where you started. So I think we have to do a deep dive and figure out what caused the 50 pounds of weight regain. And you have a really great diet, but what does a great diet mean? It's important you work with a dietitian. you sit down. Our dietitian offers telemedicine in my practice in Tucson, Arizona. Um, there's a lot of great dietitians out there affiliated with bariatric surgery practices that can help you sitting down kind of almost meal by meal trying to figure out whether you, your diet is really as healthy as you think uh, and coming up with some swaps and some ideas for, for ways that you can change um, and, and really push it to the level it needs to be. Uh, the second is what type of exercise are you doing? Is it walking that you're considering exercise or is it much higher intensity? Are you uh, in a position where you can do high intensity exercise without risking injury? A very important consideration. Are there any medications that are causing weight gain? Uh, some uh, psych psychotropic medications, not so much the SSRIs for, for depression uh, like Zoloft and Prozac, but bipolar medications, there's an old class of antidepressants called tricyclic antidepressants that caused a lot of weight gain. Um, insulin can cause weight gain. Um, some sleep medications can cause weight gain. Uh, not all medications, of course, cause weight gain, but some do, and so it's important you make sure you look at those. Is there untreated stress and depression? Are you managing your stress 
um, or your depression as effectively as possible during this COVID epidemic. It, it's brutal out there right now. Um, are you sleeping at night? Do you work the night shift? Working the night shift causes your set point to go up. And I think, you know, anyone who's considering bariatric surgery is going to have to, to um, continue on a night shift lifestyle after surgery should really think more about a bypass than a sleeve because that alone can cause a substantial amount of weight regain after a sleeve. Um, so there's a lot to think about here. Uh, really, I think um, contact with a good bariatrician, a good dietitian, someone to dive in and figure out what caused your weight gain, why did it actually go up, um, and what can you do to reverse it so that maybe we can bring that set point down. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna be easy. And it's gonna take a lot of different things. It's gonna take a real, even though your diet's good, it's gonna take a fantastic diet. Uh, you may be exercising, you might have to exercise harder. There may be some medications that you have to adjust or even start that may help with a little bit of weight loss. Um, so there's a lot, lot to go over with, with this um, and really something that you need to find someone nearby um, or by telemedicine that you can stay in communication with and, and figure this out.